Incoming call from Aries season. Well, the D-Day countdown, you know, countdown to your girl's birthday. Ooh, I have some things on the to-do list that I have to read y'all. And I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. But let me put y'all down first because we got to get into the her. I already did my makeup because I already ruined the look cute starting the vlog. And I got things to do. So I had to go ahead and do my makeup so, you know, we ain't behind. But bye, bye. Do y'all see the inch? You see her? Wait, we walk, we walk in. Y'all can't really tell how long it is because it's so long that y'all can see the whole frame. But baby, it's probably about 50, 45 inches. This is giving horse freaking tail. All right, so let me read y'all this to-do list. So first things first, your girl got on a to-do list. I was gonna make oatmeal for breakfast because I've been eating oatmeal, like I said, like my oatmeal, my smoothies, all of that. But I think I'm gonna do donuts today. I think I'm gonna go get donuts because this is a place I've been wanting to try. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Iced coffee and donuts today. I need to go to Best Buy because I am trying to get a film camera. Not like, wait, not like these, which these were actually a gift, but I'm taking these on my trip for my birthday, but I also wanted to get another film camera, which is different. So I'm gonna show y'all it when I get to the store. Hopefully Best Buy has it in stock, but if they don't, I'm gonna end up just buying it anyways and getting it delivered because it is 10 times easier because I need it for my, my birthday trip. <laughs> I gotta have it. I also gotta think about what I want for my birthday because my friends ask me like, girl, what you want? Everything, what you want for your birthday? And I don't know. So I need to really sit down and make a list of the things that I want for my birthday. So yes, I have to do that. I'm gonna do a little light grocery shopping because I wanna cook today. I wanna make dinner today and I just need groceries. It is the 5th and I'm not gonna be traveling out of town till the 11th, I believe. So I need groceries up until that day. I need to be cooking, I need groceries in my car, in my fridge, my refrigerator, not in my car, I need groceries in my house, in my refrigerator, stack until my freaking um, vacation. Um, also, y'all will be seeing my skincare routine, like my skincare, like my skincare night routine when your girl is wearing makeup. So y'all see that, but that's the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Oh, I also have to change, get my batteries changed for my smoke detector. Like, it's the one that's in my closet, or the one that's upstairs that keep on freaking beeping. So I gotta get that changed, and I'm washing clothes, so I gotta switch out the clothes, put clothes in the dryer, put clothes in the washing machine, and complete that. And that's pretty much it for today. I wanna make lamb chops and mashed potatoes for dinner. So your girl is probably gonna do that today. And that is it. So I'm about to put up these dishes that I washed which ain't even a lot, just cups really. So I'm gonna put these up and then head out to get my donut and my iced coffee and you know, start my day. So let's go. Alrighty, so I just put up the dishes, then it's complete. I'm about to put on my clothes. I have no clue what I wanna wear, but I kinda got a little idea if we're gonna go up there and pick out your girl outfit. So let's do that. All right, y'all, so I ended up taking the battery out out of my smoke detector, and it was the one that was in my closet, the smoke detector in my closet. And this is the battery, so I took it out because I needed to know what it's exact type of battery your girl needed to change out. And I assumed it was gonna be like AAA, AA, something like that, which is batteries I have already. But it's not, y'all. It's this battery, which I have no clue what this is, but I can take it to the store when I go to the store, and like, hey, y'all got this, if y'all got this. Actually, it says nine volt battery for smoke alarms. So it's batteries actually made for smoke alarms. Like, you don't just use regular batteries. It's actually batteries made for smoke alarms, which I ain't had no clue of it. But this is what I need to get. I need to put this in my purse so I don't have to get this. I am in my closet now, and I am picking out my outfit that I want to wear. Honestly, I feel like Atlanta weather has been so bipolar. Like, one minute it's cold, one minute it's super, super hot, one minute it's, like, it's raining and it's sunny. It's just, it's all over the place. But right now, I believe it's cold outside, but not too cold because it's sunny, so it's probably going to be a little warm. So I'm probably just going to wear this, this white shirt and then wear my little vintage bag. Some shades, obviously gotta put the shades on, baby, but what type? Ooh, 
So I think we know what type of shade we are going to wear, y'all. So I literally looked down and was like, I already know what I'm about to do. I'm about to wear the pair of my vintage Chanel's, which I think this one matches perfectly. And then like some jeans. And that's gonna be your girl outfit, so. <laughs> so this is the fit. We're gonna wear those jeans, the vintage rimless shade, a basic black, I mean not black, why do I keep saying black? Basic white tee, long sleeve, the vintage Louis Vuitton, and shoes. Hmm, we don't know about shoes, y'all. What are we gonna do about shoes? Let's do that. All right, so the fit is on, baby, and I love it. Look at it. So this is what I'll be talking about. This is what I was telling y'all about. You know how, like, when you're wearing jeans, this part right here sticks out? So I got it tailored so that it, like, sinks in, like, it goes around my waist, but, like, like with the benches bag. I added my braces. This is actually breaking my thing in again. And the details, got my regular stud and rings. Put on the, ah! Maybe in it make it pop. And I decided to wear these shoes. I was going with my Yeezys, but these honestly look better. This is how the shoes look on and up close and personal. With the fit, baby. Thank you. Ah, love them. She ready to go. Before I go, I need to take out my clothes in my dryer. Put the clothes in the freaking washer inside the dryer. So that is completed. Get my clothes in the dryer. Also, I know I'm getting iced coffee, so I'm gonna bring my cup so that you can put it in my cup instead because it's just way cuter. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I know Starbucks does this. I'm actually going to a donut shop, like I said. I'm not Starbucks, but I know for a fact. If you bring your own cup, unless it has to be a Starbucks cup, they do that, but I don't know about this donut shop. So if they don't, I'm just gonna end up pouring it in here myself, but I'm bringing my cup and my straw. y'all so i came to the donut place that i was just telling y'all about and look at these freaking donuts wait a minute she got any napkins on top but look at these oh can you see them they look so good so y'all also they had food and she was like if you come back try the food but baby i think i'm gonna go in there and order food for real for real because i seen a burger and i seen a chicken sandwich and they both look fine and i ain't eat so this is probably the first thing I ate, these donuts, but I need real food before I go to the store and stuff. So I think I'm gonna go back and order food from here, y'all, because it looks so fine. And I got my ice, who was this, vanilla latte? I told her to make it sweet because when I taste it, I was like, well, this ain't sweet enough. So I asked for more syrup. All right, y'all, so let me show y'all my drink inside the glass. Like, look at it. Mmm. So let me get y'all up close and personal of these donuts and so I can tell y'all which ones I get. All right, y'all, so this is up close and person donuts. So this one is blueberry crumble. This one Oreo, cereal milk, so it got fruity pebbles on top of it. This was bread pudding. This said it's available until it's not available, so I assumed that it was like the best one. So I had to get that one. She said this one is good. It got cream and strawberries in it, so it's like a sandwich, like a donut sandwich, and then this one is peanut butter. So they about to be fine. I am about to go back in there and order my food, but I'm gonna taste the donut first. And the first one I'm about to try is the cereal milk. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Mmm, mmm. If you ever been to Orlando and went to like, what's that place called? Voodoo Donuts, they got literally got the best donuts. And this place right here is up there with this. But honestly, I feel like, I don't know, the Fruity Pebbles kind of donut is way better. Mmm. That's so good, y'all. All right, y'all. So I was gonna go in and get my food and just try one, but I really want to try this bread pudding because, like I said, I think this is the best one. Because honestly, this was the last one they had. She put it in my thing thing, and it's only one thirty four. So I don't know. Like it's so out fast. Mm! Mm! That is good. Focus. Oh yeah, baby. So honestly, this don't taste like a donut. It tastes like bread pudding in a donut form. Like, I don't know, like, look at it. But it's so good, y'all. So I understand 
why I be sold out. But for real, for real, I'm about to go back in now and order me some food before I head to these stores because I'm hungry. And the lady said they food is good. And let me show y'all a picture because y'all know I be yelping. I yelp, I leave reviews, I do all of that, baby. And I check these places so I can know how the food look, the menu, what they looking like, where it's at, the location. I do all of it. But hold on, let me show y'all this that I found. Look at this. This was the chicken sandwich in there and i was like oh baby that looks good and i seen one in person like when it came out like when they was about to serve it up to the um customer and i was like oh baby that looks good so i'm like i need to go so i'm about to go back in and get that and then run my errands all right y'all here is the freaking chicken sandwich i got and it looks so good so this was the buffalo crunch i believe it was but i ended up getting my sauce on the side because i didn't want it to be so like soggy and my chicken be soggy and i got the fries baby Mm. Mm. All right, y'all, so I have made it to Best Buy and I found the cameras that I was looking for. It's this one that I'm looking for. So this is the camera, y'all. It is a BG film camera. So y'all, the camera that I came here for, the exact camera I came here for, they said it's sold out, can't even order it. I don't even know what your grill is gonna do. So I'm gonna look online if I see if I can find it, but that's the exact one I wanted. And he said they couldn't even order it. Like he said they sold out everywhere. Like I'm assuming all best buys, but maybe I can find it online at maybe another store. I came here y'all and they don't even got it. <laughs> but I'm gonna look for the battery for the smoke detector and then head out. All right, y'all, so I'm decided on this exact one and I looked at it and it's the same battery that came out of my smoke detector. So I'm getting this one because that one, you gotta recharge it and I don't got time for it because I ain't got no battery charger. So. I had to come to Quick Trip because my car was going a little bit low, so I had to pull it up and get it for you. It's the money, it's the money. I made it to the store. I'm at Kroger, about to grocery shop and get things that I need for dinner tonight. I'm making lamb chops, green beans, and mashed potatoes. So that's everything that I need and extra stuff. It's the money, it's, it's the money, it's, it's the money, yeah. It's the money, it's, it's the money, it's, it's the money. It's, it's the money. Can I say y'all, these are the freaking best. You welcome. Pickle okra in the hot kind. Hot kind. Gotta be hot, y'all. Not the regular, the hot. Pickle okra. So freaking fine. I literally ate a whole jar. So that's why your girl got a real. But you welcome. <laughs> I'm not sure who you are, but I just saw. Uh -huh. so, I did my grocery shopping in Kroger. They didn't have the lamb chops that I needed to get anyway because that's what I was cooking. So I came to Publix, right there though. That's why I'm about to go in because I believe they might have them. So yeah, we about to go in there and see because it's the only thing that's missing off my list and then we good. All right, y'all. So I have made it back home. About to unpack these groceries and chill it until about five six o'clock because i'm actually not hungry anymore that chicken sandwich filled me up and if y'all notice this on my own i always coffee so i'm about to take this off and wash this right now because i would hate for this to get stained because it's literally my favorite shirt but i'm about to put up all these groceries that i get i got this smoked sausage y'all for breakfast i love this for breakfast hawaiian rolls cheese for like lunch lunch meats and i got this cake mix because i wanted to make a butter cake I got a Red Bull also from the store because y'all, I ain't had one of these in forever. So I had to get it. And boom, that is everything. So now I'm about to open my label maker because I want to label my new thing I got in my drawer that I showed y'all in one of these vlogs. But it was like for full parchment paper and all of that. And I said I was gonna label it. I've been this label maker for the longest. I got this a while back. Never opened it because it was like nothing really that I had to label. Now that I got something I can actually label, I'm about to finally put it to use. Hopefully this does not require batteries. Oh, it do. Six AAA batteries? Oh, no. I gotta go see if I got them. Maybe I don't know about six. Six is a bit much. Oh, it come with six. It come with six batteries, y'all. So it comes with, I guess this is the refillable thingies. And then it actually came with the batteries, y'all. So we good, we good. First of all, this looks like one of those cassette tapes. Y'all remember like the old cassette tapes back in the day? This is what they look like. And I'm assuming she go in. 
like so. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, oh, there she go. Ah! So I think this one is like, this exact one is a white one and this one is like a clear label. So now let me open these batteries and put these in. All right, y'all, so I think I got it working. Let me take this out. So I'm going to do four. Ah! Y'all see that? It's coming out. And then this part right here is cut. So when you cut it, it like fall out. And then you just peel it and label it on. All right, child, so this is how it look. I added it in and I just did four. I actually should have did aluminum foil, but that probably would have been too long. But I mean, I did parchment paper. This is how it look, y'all. Parchment paper, saran wrap, and foil. Ah! All right, y'all, so I'm about to get ready to cook. Get my food out of the refrigerator. These are the stains we need, baby, because your girl is making lamb chops, green beans. I got my garlic because we need that butter. Gotta have the butter. The green beans and all my seasonings, baby. So I'm getting my pots out. First, I'm going to season these lamb chops up. I feel like the last time I was in Publix, I, like I've seen lamb chops before in Publix, like I bought lamb chops in Publix before. But it's always been like the line cut, so it's like the bigger ones. But these, like the ones, the long, the thing, like they call like lollipops. Never seen them before. All right, y'all, so I got the lamb chops on here. And we seasoning it with pepper, garlic, and slappy mammy. But my slappy mammy is always up there, so I gotta clam up there to get it. And we not using, baby, regular salt, baby. We using Himalayan salt. Because, this here gonna make it real nice. I gotta go all the way up here to get my slappy in here. Woo! All right, we got it. I literally probably seasoned everything with this, y'all. But y'all already knew this, so they season all up, but we gonna rub it all around. So all the seasoning get on all the pieces of the meat, y'all. Every single piece. If you didn't know, salt makes um, water boil faster. So every time I'm like boiling potatoes, boiling eggs, boiling anything, I sprinkle salt in the water because it makes it boil faster. Taters boiling. Now I'm about to put my lamb chops on and then make these rainbows because it's the easiest. y'all food is complete these are the lamb chops y'all they look so freaking good and they juicy y'all y'all already know the green beans let's bring us to the forefront so y'all can see her so i'm about to make my plate and eat i also got my um What's this? Smoke detector. I got the battery. It's fixed now. It's so as you can hear, it ain't beeping no more. But one thing I haven't done yet is figure out my birthday list. Like what I want for my birthday for my friends. Like I have no clue, y'all. Honestly, honestly, I don't know. I like to cook, and I would say like furnish and stuff. But I, my house is kind of like already fully furnished. Ooh. Actually, you know what? I could ask for like CB2 gift cards and all of that because I still have to furnish and I'm getting ready to start furnishing, painting, doing the floors and all that for my office space. So I might ask for furniture. I might ask for like CB2, Great and Barrel, all those places I like to shop for my furniture and stuff, like a gift card. So that's honestly probably what I would ask for. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to get ready to add in my skincare routine. And remember, this is my skincare routine at nighttime when your girl is wearing makeup the day of and all of it. So, cue it. 
cute footage. Let's get it. What is up, OGs? I am back with another video. And if you read by the title, then you already know what this video is going to be about. And this is a long awaited video as well that you guys have been asking for. So this is going to be pretty much in detail my pretty much night routine because it's nighttime and I have on makeup. So I'm going to be taking you guys step by step from when I take my makeup off all the way until the end of my skincare routine. So this skincare routine is actually different from any skincare routine that I do because my skincare routine that I do when I have on makeup or when I'm wearing makeup is different from my skincare routine a day that I'm not wearing makeup. So with that being said, let's get into the video. <laughs> So first things first, I gotta take off my freaking makeup. And I use these Cetaphil, Cetaphil makeup wipes. And I also use this Marcel to take off my makeup as well. So sometimes I feel like when I'm taking off my makeup, the wipes aren't as wet as I want them. So let me put it on my little bunny ears. And this is what I do. Every night when I'm taking out my makeup and when I'm doing my skincare routine, I have to have this on so that you girl edges don't be in the way. And this just helps push my hair all the way back. First things first, take up all my freaking makeup with these makeup wipes. And I honestly don't even know how many makeup wipes I go through. So I feel like this is the video where I'm gonna count how many makeup wipes it actually take to take off my whole face. So let's see. So far, it has been two freaking makeup wipes, and I am kind of like, I would probably say 80% done taking all my makeup off, because I guarantee you I wipe again, it's still gonna be makeup left on my face. And I also have to scrub under my eyes, like for the eyeliner, because it's waterproof. So I have to get really good under my eyes so that all of the eyeliner is gone. So this is my third makeup wipe. All right, y'all, so I ended up only using four makeup wipes. One, two, three, and four. And this is the last makeup wipe I used. And if you can see, it's barely any makeup left on this one versus the one I used when I first started my makeup off. So it's a big, 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 big difference. So I make sure my face is clear of makeup. And then my next step to my skincare routine is washing my face. I'm gonna give y'all a rundown of all the steps when it comes to my makeup routine when I'm taking my makeup off. Like when I'm wearing makeup, my routine, my skincare routine from start to finish. So first is remove my makeup, cleaning my face, exfoliating my face, mask, and then moisturizer. So that's kind of like everything. So before I even do anything else, before I put a mask on my face, before I exfoliate my face, I always clean my face first. When I clean my face, I use either my black soap, my African black soap, or my scrub from the same brand that is Cetaphil. Cetaphil, Cetaphil. But usually the only time I will use this is if on a day I'm not wearing makeup. So this is kind of like my everyday skincare routine when I'm not wearing makeup. But when I wear makeup, I'm either using this one or this one, but now I've seen it's going to be my black, African black soap. So I'm gonna be using my African black soap to wash my face and clean it. Also, this, my Vanity Planet Spin Brush is also another part of my skincare routine when I'm wearing makeup. So I go in, I use the spin brush when I'm cleaning my face, like I said, with my African soap, black soap. And I go in with the softer brush. So since I'm exfoliating, I don't use the hard brush, which this one is like more of a, more of a exfoliating. But since I'm already exfoliating, I just go in with the softer brush. So after I finish cleaning out my face, I washed all the soap off. I use my facial tissue. And let me tell y'all something. 
Do not, when I repeat, do not, when y'all are drying y'all face, dry y'all face with a towel. Unless you are washing that towel over and over and over and over, it's germs on it. So do facial tissue. Like this here is like my, y'all, this is my go-to. When I tell y'all, I'm putting y'all on some, I'm really putting y'all on. So they actually have something that's called facial tissue and this is what this is. I keep it in my little cute little aesthetically pleasing little tissue holder. So after I'm done rinsing my face, I draw it off with my face tissue. So I'm not using a towel. I'm not using anything else. I'm just using these. And then like once I'm done with this, I can throw this away. And then when I need it again, I have plenty of more. So use facial tissue, y'all. After I wash and clean my face with my black soap, I pat dry. And this step here next, which is the third step, is going to be my exfoliating. So I exfoliate and when I do that, it's like a gentle scrub. And when I do that, I also steam as well. And keep in mind, I only do this on days when I'm wearing makeup or when I wore a lot of makeup. This is the exfoliator that, I, that I'll use. Sugar scrub, a brown sugar scrub it exfoliates. And I got this from Farm pretty melanin and i've worked with them before and i love their products as y'all can see <laughs> i don't even know if you can see inside of it but it's pretty much all gone so i need to re -up. so the steamer i use is this steamer which is the one from vanity planet and i love this one all you do pop it off fill this up with water put it in and it starts steaming in like three seconds For the exfoliator, I only use a little bit because a little goes a long way and your girl is running low, so I'm trying to use as little as possible. So what I do is I just rub this in my hands with water and then I put it all on my face and then I sit under the steamer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that is it. And then I rinse this off and then we move on to step four. So once I have it on, I literally just rub gently especially around my nose because usually around my nose sometimes is where I get really dry. So I like to exfoliate my nose a lot. And I love this exfoliator because after I'm done exfoliating with this exfoliator, y'all, my face would be super, 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 super soft. I literally sit here for about 10 to 15 minutes and do not, when I repeat, do not get close to this because it gets really, 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 really hot and it will burn your freaking skin. So stay far away, well not too far, but don't get too close to it. After I rinse my face off, it is super, 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 super clean. I go in with my mask. I use a green matcha clay mask. See that, y'all? I love freaking clay masks, especially after I wear makeup because it really just hydrates my face. And I just apply this all on. And I don't really do it anywhere. I kind of just do it on my cheeks, on my chin, on my forehead, my nose and they kind of be it. So my mask is pretty much dried up. I'm about to rinse this off. And y'all, let me tell y'all, this takes forever to take off. So what I usually do, instead of just rinsing it off with water because that's just really, it really impossible because it just be so hard. I just wet up a towel with warm water and then just kind of like rub it off gently. So that's what I'm about to do. Take this off. And then finally, we can get to the last step, which is the moisturizing. So my mask is off and my last part is moisturizing. And this is usually the moisturizer I use in the daytime. But at night, I use a facial serum. And this is the one I use, which I actually randomly found this at a farmer's market. So I'm not really sure if they sell it online or not. And in the morning, sometimes as well, I will mix these two. But at night, I just use this. I use a little bit. A few drops on my hand. Y'all, my face be 
so smooth when I wake up. And it smells so good. Y'all already know my routine isn't complete without my lip balm. And y'all already know which one this is because I mentioned this in my makeup tutorial. And I wear this every night. And to lock in everything, I use this rose petal spray with the witch hazel. This is also, witch hazel is also good for acne. All right, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed my skincare routine from makeup to birthdays. This was literally step by step. I'll take out my makeup and everything I do after I remove my makeup. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next vlogging vlog on day three. I love you guys. Bye.